Don't, you can have a small head and pointy ears that go backwards. Like as if you've been like, like caught in an ice blizzard. There we go, caught in a blizzard. Ice storm. I don't know how I look, we're gonna just deal with it. Hello, hello, I don't have my glasses on so I can't even see myself in the screen, but that's fine. But today, our guest of honor is Kepler, my dog. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be drawing him. Kep, do you wanna come here? I've got some of his treats here. Would you like some? Do you wanna come up and sit here? Sit on the big boy chair? Yeah. Can you speak? Speak. <laughs> oh, woof. good boy. We're gonna pick, see if he picks digital or traditional. So this is the, the traditional. This is the traditional book, as if we're drawing in pens and pencils, or are we gonna go iPad? So, um, I'm gonna put these two on the table here. Would you like to pick one? Can you sit up? Sit up and talk. Okay, the sniff, they're the same? Yeah, same. Okay, wait, wait, there's two. Wait, leave it alone, leave it alone. iPad or paper? Choose, choose. Which one? Take it. <laughs> Choose one! Go on, have it! Come on, I feel so guilty! Have one! Go on, take it! <laughs> Come closer. Ready? Take it! Okay, okay, we're doing paper, we're doing traditional. Oh! Okay, maybe we'll colour it on the iPad later instead. Okay. So you've picked traditional. Good for you. I hate drawing on paper now, but thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rip up some of these. I'm gonna choose some different styles. So I think we're gonna stick with a Pokemon theme. I'm gonna draw him as a Pokemon. And you're gonna have to pick what type you are. So I think, based on your personality, that you could be a dark type because you, you're kind of shady. Come on, bud, you gotta admit, you're a bit shady sometimes. So I'm gonna write dark. <clears throat> ghost could be interesting because I almost called you Ghost. Well, you were gonna be called Spooky initially. We had three names we were gonna call him and it was Zenyatta, Kapla, or Spooky. And we chose Kapla. So I think Ghost should go on the cards. And maybe we can combine some of these because I don't think you'd be like a full on Ghost Wolf. What else would you like to be? What else do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And you go, Oof. yes, good boy. <laughs> water type, because you really like water. What else do you do? What else do you like? What else do you like? You could be a psychic type, because like, dogs dogs know things. They know when you're not doing too great. So I'm gonna put psychic down. Oh my gosh, I can do evolutions for you. Huh? How would you like to evolve? Would that make you better? <gasps> yes, yes you would. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna put ice type down because he's got some husky in him. I quite like the idea of you being an ice dog. So like if you pick both of those, I would be totally cool with that. I tell you what, you can pick two of these and we'll work with whatever two there are. So I'm gonna lay them in front of you, okay? I think we're gonna go for the nearest one, I'll be honest. So I should move these across a little bit. Okay, so ghost, psychic, or ice. Which one? Pick one. Have one, take it, <laughs> take it. Oh, okay, he picked ice type. Okay, okay, good boy, good boy. All right, so ice type. So we've got water and dark remaining, okay? Okay, pick one, pick one. Have one, hey, what's this? Take it, take it, choose one. <laughs> you can have it, <laughs> just take it, take it. Which one? Have it. Oh, don't sulk. Oh, up here. Oh, okay, okay, good boy, good boy. Okay, we went for ice and dark, and I think that's very fitting for you, having your icy eyes and being a husky, and you've got some dark in you, because you're obviously planning my, my death, aren't you? Yeah. So we've got dark and ice type. I don't know why I'm looking for these, as if I need to remind myself. I'm thinking a Kuchina Maitiana thing, but like icy. When you were a puppy, you were a lot pudgier. So we're gonna we're gonna make you a bit pudgier. Oh, your ears stuck out the side when you were a puppy. I'm gonna do that. 
So you're gonna have more Yoda-y ears. But you're a dark type, so you get to have those edgy eyes. But maybe when you're younger, maybe the eyes are a little bit more friendly. But I'm gonna give you like fluff. Do you wanna, do you wanna pay attention? Thank you. Pay attention. This is class time. You, you, do, you need to take over my business from me because who's gonna do this when I die? But I'm thinking like Evie fluff, but somehow not. Like you, you have this weird like tough thing. Oh, don't start crying. What are you crying about? What is there to cry about, huh? Do you want more treats? Can you spin? Spin. Spin all the way, all the way. Good boy, good boy, you look so panicked. You can get down if you want. So let me just get the body in here. It's been so long since I've drawn traditionally and this is one of the reasons I wanted to make videos on this channel is because I've lost touch a little bit with what I used to enjoy and what I used to love doing. So I had a bit of a break and realized, hey, what I loved doing as a kid, I was just drawing for fun and inventing things. And one of those things was things like inventing Pokemon. I just had books and books and books of just like invented Pokemon. So why not do it with you? Because I cared about you. I can't remember what Puchiana's tail looked like. I think it was a bit stubby, but I want, I want little icicles. Like I want spiky fur to come up like this. Like one of my big problems is that like Aaron, anytime I draw anything, because I do it professionally, it has to, in my, yeah, in my mind, it has to be like, you have to be doing this for a reason. You have to be doing this for a purpose. So I always get just stressed and that's no good when you're trying to have fun, when you're constantly like, this needs to be the best it could ever be. And it's just not. So he's slightly curvier as a pup. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's do your final, your final form. Do you want an evolution? Do you want an evolution to speak? No? <laughs> yes! This is the best thing about having a dog, is just teaching them dumb tricks. And lick, lick. Yes, good boy, good boy. Mm. Never thought I'd be doing art projects with my dog, but here we are, and I'm loving it. So I think final form, you're gonna be a lot edgier. So you're gonna have a small head and pointy ears that go backwards, like as if you've been like, like caught in an ice blizzard. There we go, caught in a blizzard, ice storm. And I think you should have like nine tailsy eyes. Oh, I'm gonna give you a little drippy nose. Like I know that's a Pokemon thing. I know there's already a bear that has a drippy nose. So, I think you're gonna be leaner. I'm just gonna draw the base body. Kind of like typical Houndoom, um, Mightyena kind of body shape. And then you're gonna have a heckin' tail. Like a heckin' tail. We're gonna have it curl upwards. And, oh, you're gonna look like you've got a cone of shame. I don't really want you to have that. But <laughs> maybe, maybe if we just give you like a spiky, jolty on -y. Oh, what? You don't like it? You don't like it? I think you look cool. But then I would say that, wouldn't I? Mm. So these bits are gonna be like icy snow caps. And then we'll add your your legs back in. I know, I know, it's so sad. We'll give you some little claws because you need to grip onto the ice. It's funny, we're finally doing this collab, Cap. I've been on the phone to your agent for so long, for so long. Okay, and Keppel's got this like thick patch of hair on the back of his legs. It's so funny because like when you comb it out, when he when he sh when he sheds basically, that is the bit that gets like the clumpiest. I'm bribing him to sit here. You're being paid for your time in kibble. Say please. Oh, good. Say please. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, I'm thinking this needs to like come up somehow like some wolves have there we go that's more like it so it looks like icicles coming down well you heard me talk earlier i'm just i want to have fun and make some stuff that i don't need to feel stressed about and also i felt like the speed draws i know some people can do those and they look amazing but for me it was just lacking a bit of personality um i i like to get involved i like to talk to the camera like this um, I like to make fun stuff with my dog. Because Glaceon has like 
ice things. I'm wondering how I can get that into you. I think it's just colour scheme. I think we're just going to have to put a lot of blue on you, that's all. No! Is there a dog outside? No! Oh my god. Alright, alright, be a guard dog. So I feel like dark ice fits this boy really well. And I'm going to take this forward into some colour digitally. If you'd like to see more of my dog choosing what I draw. Also, if you have any suggestions, because this is the point of this channel. I want to get people involved. I want you to suggest things. I want to just have fun. And sometimes when the burden is off me from choosing what to draw, it makes it a lot easier to do. So if somebody's like, you should draw a donut in space fighting a unicorn, then it's like, oh, I could draw that. Whereas like me normally is just thinking, I don't know, I could, I could do anything. I could do anything, right, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take this concept onto the iPad and I'm gonna speed it up. But whilst I still have you here, so you can watch that being completed over here, or maybe over here, because you don't wanna not look at Kepler. I mean, he's adorable. Do you wanna come here? Do you wanna come here? Oh, yes, yes, more Papa love. So yeah, this is what the channel's gonna be more of, just doing crazy stuff. I wanna do some dumb like five minute crafts. I wanna get Tom involved because he's really creative. He's my, um, Tom's my partner really creative and I feel like having his input on some topics and challenging him too is a really fun way because it's nice to bounce off people. I'm bouncing off my dog here because otherwise I'd be just talking to myself and going mad. Nose? Yeah. All right guys, if you like that, see the final result. I'm thinking I've, like this is for future Amy. I'm thinking I've probably painted it up in Similar to his colour scheme, but maybe with more blue, definitely with the icy eyes. Added some themes that would, you know, like make, make those icicles on the end of the hair, like the, the tips of the hair to look cold. But that's it for now. I mean, I'm looking forward to just making more content and having more fun and not worrying so much because part of the reason I was really struggling to make videos was because it was so formulaic to me. It was like, right, I have to sit down. I have to record this. I have, like, it was on the computer. It didn't feel very personal. Whereas here, I feel like I'm just having fun. And those are the kinds of videos I've always wanted to make. And I've been just a bit too scared to move away from being hyper-focused and hyper-professional about it because that didn't work for me. So back at square one at my dining table with my dog, talking to my dog, getting my dog to pick what I want to draw. Ain't that, if that isn't a metaphor for life, then I don't know what is. All right, thanks for watching everyone, and hopefully you'll tune in again to see more shenanigans. But uh, expect better sets in future. I'm still working this stuff out as I go along. And I just thought to myself, if I don't start doing it, then I never will. So expect things to change, expect things to get better. But for now, thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting me. And Kepler says thank you too. Can you say, can you speak? <coughs> <Oof>. <coughs> thanks guys, see you next time.